Good day, brethren. You're welcome to RCC Junior Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General Vasil of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboy. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, November 20, 2024, we're looking at the topic, You Can Be Full of Joy. I remember verses taken from Psalm 16, verse 11, which says, Thou will shew me the path of life, in thy presence is fullness of joy, at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Our text is taken from Jeremiah 29, verses 11 to 12. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace are not of evil to give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Our text says, According to John 16, verse 24, Either to have ye asked nothing in my name, ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Jesus said in the above passage that it is possible for you to be full of joy. In other words, he was saying that it is possible for you to have absolutely no sorrow. There are many people who look good on the outside but are dying on the inside. A lot of people have sorrows that they can't share and problems that they hide beneath their appearance. However, God can take away sorrows completely and heal the brokenhearted, according to Psalms 147 verse 3. If you are currently experiencing sorrows or problems that you cannot share, you will be healed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Many years ago, one of my daughters, that's according to her father and the Lord, came to me and asked me to pray for her. I asked her what she wanted me to pray about. She said that I did not need to know and that when the prayer is answered, she will come back and share the testimony with me. I prayed for her and to the glory of God some days later, she came back to share her testimony with me. She was well over 20 years old, but she was still bedwetting. She said she never traveled with her friends on trips where they had to spend the night together, but that with just a simple prayer, the problem was over. In the name of Jesus, who made it possible for you to be reading this teaching now, if there are any secret sorrows in your life, they will disappear today. Amen. So, we see that it's very possible for someone to have full joy, to be full of joy, that is, have no sorrows. Because Jesus said it is possible. Jesus said we should ask and receive that our joy may be full. So we can live a life of complete joy and no sorrow. And we need to know that God can grant us that kind of life. God can grant you that miracle that you need. God can take away that sorrow that you may be experiencing, all those secret sorrows. We see our Father and the Lord um, giving an example of one, one of his children who uh, came to ask for, a mir- uh, for a prayers over a situation in her life. And after he prayed for her, she came back to testify that she was over 20 years old, but she had been bedwetting and she couldn't travel for overnight trips because of that, because she would bedwet. That was a secret sorrow. People look good on the outside, but inside they are battling demons, inside they are battling situations and circumstances that they can never tell anyone. But Jesus can take care of those secret sorrows. Jesus can take them away. Jesus said in John 16 verse 24 that the way to get all your sorrow turned to so much joy that you will be filled with it is to ask him. It may seem like a simple instruction, but it is a very powerful one. Rather than cry or worry, just pray. Matthew 6.27 says that no matter how worried you are, you cannot add an inch to your height. Beloved, stop worrying. Rather than spending time to worry, use that time to pray. Philippians 4, 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. When disturbing thoughts wake you up at night, get up and pray. As you pray and sing praises to God, the sorrows will be lifted from your heart and will be replaced with joy. I pray that henceforth your life will be filled with joy in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Jesus can turn your sorrows to joy. Jesus can take care of those your secret, those secret sorrows. Commit yourself into Jesus' hand. Tell him about that situation. Tell him about that circumstance. And watch him take care of you and remove your pain and your sorrow and give you full and complete joy. There's no reason to worry about anything. There's no reason to be anxious about anything. There's no reason to, you know, there are some Some things that happen to you that you won't be able to sleep at night. Just tell it to Jesus and watch him come to your aid. Our prayer point says, Father, may I never experience sorrow again in Jesus' name. 
Lord, we ask that may we never experience sorrow again in the name of Jesus. All those secret pains, all those secret tears, all those secret sorrows that we may be going through. Lord God Almighty, we ask that you take care of them. Take care of all our burdens. You say we should come unto you and that you grant us rest. Lord God Almighty, take care of all our sorrows. Grant us full joy. Let our joys be full in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.